Allie's Awareness Avenue. This is where we discuss all kinds of life issues, and we also introduce you to small businesses that are doing amazing things for people, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I have a wonderful guest who has a wonderful company, and he's going to tell you all about it. Please welcome Jorge Santana from Gay Pride Bowties. Hello. Hi, Allie. How are you today? I am well. How are you? Doing great. Um, thank you for the opportunity to, you know, give our message out for a small company like us. What you're doing is amazing, so thank you for your time. Oh, well, thank you. I think what you're doing is amazing. When I read your everything about you and went to your website, I was just blown away. Um, so I'm so glad you came on. So I'm going to let you tell me all about Gay Pride bow ties and um, your mission statement. I love your mission statement, and that's the first thing you see when you go to your website. So, Jorge, just tell us all about you and the company. Well, the, the, the first thing that we're different, and, and I'm glad that you noticed, is our mission statement because um, you know most people have told us that they wanted us to show our product when they're marketing specialists, and I truly felt that, you know, if we just show our product and I just become like any other bow tie, but we truly feel that our product is more than just a bow tie because when you first look at our mission statement, it says that it doesn't matter that if you're gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, ally, whatever religion affiliation you currently have, we want to unify people instead of breaking people apart. So we donate $5 for every bow tie that we currently sell. And the other thing that has taken off a little bit more is we don't believe in having models. Instead, we believe that if someone's out in public, if they take a picture, it doesn't matter how they look, it is a great pleasure to add themselves in, into the Hall of Fame part of the website. So we can tweet it, we can Instagram it. And um, some of the stories that people have told us when they're wearing the bow tie have just been nothing better or anything. So um, it's, it's actually been more awarding for me of how it's been taken off and, and the story behind it that I never thought it would be yeah. Well, I think it's I think it's beautiful. And I mean, obviously, I'm going to have your website up on my website. I want everybody to go. Now, I mean, the message period about coexisting and respecting each other is beautiful alone. Just never mind what your, what your sexual orientation is. I just think that's amazing that you're not only doing it for the LGBTQ community, you're also doing it for everybody, no matter what religion or anything. Now, talk about, um, you donate $5 from every bow tie. Talk a bit about that. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, what we do is that every six months and once a year, we, we post everything on our blog of, of how we contribute and we give back to the community. And I am just a natural giver. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of just doing five dollars, the average last year for every bow tie that we did it was thirteen dollars and thirty cents. And um, the reason that it was higher was, um, you know, there were some incidents like it went, something happened in Puerto Rico. I'm Hispanic. Um, I, we donated two hundred dollars to be able to help the cause of what was going on. Um, the other thing that I'm passionate about is we've given out six thousand five hundred bracelets that said "Help Stop Bullying," and um, we we just felt passionate enough to be able to make people feel welcome. So a lot of times we've had some kids that said, God, I wish that I could be able to afford your boat. And instead of making them feel bad, I ask them and say, hey, what was your address? I'd love to send you a wristband that helps stop bullying with this gay bow ties on it. And it makes them feel part of the organization, you know, the company and, and the mission statement that we're trying to do. So it's been great. Well, I just, like I said, I absolutely love what you guys do. Um, I, uh, wanted to talk about okay so the cool thing about your website too is you have pictures of people wearing bow ties um mm -hmm. but they're not models <laughs> um i can tell you some of those stories that you know let me take it even a step back do you know what the shark tank is by any chance um it's a tv yeah. show where you try to get your your product launched by them or help Right. Yeah. So we went and applied, and we didn't make it, but we want to apply for it next year as well. And the reason why is some of the amazing stories that we have received through the Hall of Fame part. So, for example, I had a person that, for the first time, is an ally and went to a lesbian wedding. And one of the requirements was you have to wear a rainbow bow tie. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so he found a bow tie, and he wore it. And he says, Jorge, well, hey, I, I, I have to be completely honest with you. By far, my bow, your boat tie was better than anyone else's. And he 
took a picture with it, your bride, and you send it to me and says, okay, you can do whatever you want with this picture. Well, that picture ended up actually being posted on the Gay Weddings magazine, and uh, it's, you know, I'm extremely proud of how someone from the outside can be able to break in, wear our stuff, and be able to meet people that they've never known that they're there. Yeah. Um, you know, the other great story that I have is I had one of my close friends that walked his daughter down the aisle and he wanted to wear bow ties because he loved the mission standing behind it. And his daughter for the first time looked at him and said, Dad, you know, um, I want to let you know that I've never been so proud of you. Uh, and he says, Jorge, I've never had my daughter. I've done a lot of stuff for my daughter, but I've never heard that from my daughter. So it's, it's, it's just really cool to get some pictures and then people tell me the stories behind it. Um, where, you know, when we go to a national event, I like to invite, you know, the, the Orlando Rhythm, you know, organization that, um, you know, after the massacre that happened in Pools, they gave 500 ribbons all over the, in the country and in the world. Uh, 500,000 and I invite them to be in our booth and because they continue to pass the message of hope and, and understanding and it's just it's, he took a picture of it we had it on there we had our first transgender person and then the second transgender person that we added is actually from Canada so it's it's been really cool to be able to have their messages their meaning behind it and then everyone is welcome because we truly feel that everyone is beautiful and the women themselves to put themselves out there makes it even more special. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I just, oh my God. Jorge, I love what you do. <laughs> now, um, you. you celebrated one year in business recently, right? I, I couldn't hear you. I apologize. Oh, you celebrated one year in business recently, correct? Yes, we did. When was that? And, and we actually posted everything that we've done. We're, um, for all the bow ties and, and places that we went to and where we donated. And I, I just feel like it's, it's really important for us to be transparent so that way they, people can, you know, one of the biggest feedbacks that I have received is they tell me that they wear the bow tie with pride because they know that it's given back to the community. Well, and that's, that's the beautiful thing about what you do. I want to talk, okay, so you are um, also grateful to be part of the Mid-American um, GLCC. And their support is one reason that you've had such a, such a successful year. Who is the MLCC or GLCC? Sorry, Mid American GLCC. The Mid America Gay and Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Um, they're they're nothing but fantastic organization because um, just some of the educational things that they do and how they try to reach out to the community and and say we are an LGBT community, but we also want to serve the community as well. It's uh, they're nothing but fantastic, and um, it, the relationships that I made through there has given me, you know, um, more of an insight in making sure that I am doing the right thing. The feedback has been nothing but just acceptance, and that I, I couldn't ask to be part of a better organization, and will continue to be part of. That is awesome. Now, let's also talk about um, you've attended national conferences. Um, PFLAG and human rights campaigns. Um, and that Peace is, is it's a really cool organization that it's parents and friends that support gay and lesbian um, kids. They they do a lot of education on making sure that if if a parent has you know a child that is part of the LGBTQ, to be able to provide some educational parts to be able to communicate better with their their son or daughter or whatever sex they want, actually want to associate with. And it's been nothing but amazing working with them. Um, the transformation, things that we've learned, it's, it's, it's been great. That is awesome. Now, the summary of your, like you, you post what, like you do it every six months, you post what you've donated this money to. Um, mm -hmm. And the final summary for April 22nd, 2017 to April 22nd, 2018, Go through that because that is amazing, and it just goes to show all of it's all about inclusion. Yeah, so I, I think if you like, I like to talk about every bow tie. Sure, um, definitely. And then I can tell you specifically how much we've donated for each one. Okay. On the side, um, before we do is the, the silk is amazing. It's um, I never thought that we'd be offering a product that would have the silk from the United Kingdom where it's handled with it. 
And what I'm talking about being hand woven is that if you look at the black bow tie and you touch the LGBT flag, you will feel that it's part of the silk. And there's nothing like that on the market. It is not embroiled or anything. It's actually hand woven, which makes it just beautiful. Um, and then we ship that silk to, Inver to Vermont. And in Vermont, they actually make the bow ties by hand. So it's not done by a machine. It's not done by anything on that part of it. Then they shipped that to me, and I actually glue the box that says, you know, gay pride bow ties, and it's more than just a bow tie. The ribbon that is there, it's not a fake ribbon. I actually glue it on there. Everything is done by hand. And then I write a thank you note for everyone that ever purchases a, a bow tie from us, and as long as I'm not in a trade show. But what actually has become really popular is that if anyone, if a parent, an uncle, or friend, wants to send a gift to someone else, they can t tell me the message that they like, and I can write it in their behalf, and then ship it out. So it's it's definitely old school. It's We focus on little details. We're a small company, so we definitely like to make sure that when someone gets something, it's, it's special. I've been told that her boxes look like a gift already, so you don't really have to, you know, um, you know, add any additional covers or anything on that. It just comes like it's already ready to be open as a gift. Um, so we take a lot of pride upon that. Well, I think that is awesome. I mean, and, and I mean, because you are a smaller company, you get to do that kind of personal touch, which makes it even better. I mean, it's just an added bonus when you get your bow tie. Now, okay, so let's talk about your summary for April. Whoa, whoops, we're getting crazy feedback here now. Hang on a second. There we go. That's better. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, um, AIDS Walk, Kansas City, $300. Right. Sent so, that, that bow tie is actually one of the most unique bow ties that we currently have. We have two options. We can have one that is already pre-made that goes up and down, or the one that does a self-made that if you tie it, let's say, for example, um, one way it, it goes sideways if you turn it upside down and you tie it again it will be up and down so it actually has two designs into one bow tie and the kansas city aids walk is here in the midwest is a great organization that not only focuses on aids but hiv but they actually focus on educating you know the youth making sure that they know what actually may cause those you know um illnesses so it's it's been a great pleasure to be able to work with a company like that just for what they do in the community. I would so. imagine. That is, uh, yeah. Now let's talk, okay, Center of Inclusion, $300. Center of Inclusion is the only LGBT center here that actually will have a hate club. And uh, two years ago, I was in charge of the LGBT club, but starting a company plus having another job and being married, it just wasn't enough time to be able to do that and still do volunteering. So um, I, I still feel passionate about what they do. So we created a bow tie that for every bow tie that we sell, we donate $5 to that prom. And we donated at $300 to the prom. And we also volunteered most of the day at the prom. That is cool. Um, and that, you have that picture up, don't you? Is that picture up in your Hall of Fame? Uh, we have not enough of a fame from, from the prom because the the prom, we have to be extremely careful oh, yeah. because we can't put any pictures of the kids or anything yes. like that. Okay. But I did put a blog on, you know, the prom or, or things associated with that part. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to say this wrong. I know I am. Co-Fallon Cultural Center? Yeah, this that by far is my top seller. Um, actually, all the sales that we've done in Canada has been out of the black bow tie. Uh, what's really unique about this one is that for every 12 bow ties that we sell, we actually sponsor Kid in Mali Africa to go to school for one year. Um, and in one year, we actually sponsor seven kids, which I'm extremely proud of doing that. Um, the, there's also a picture when you go and look at the black bow tie that kind of shows you a picture of a silk. This will actually show you how difficult it is to be able to do the hand with it into the bow tie. Okay. And, uh, by far is, is my top seller because People go into a formal wear and you have the, the LGBT flag on the corner and people have told me that it just starts conversations. People are like, is that the LGBT flag? And and they can say, yes, it is. And, you know, they can start that conversation. And, and here's an, an interesting fact. Most half of my sales are not part from the LGBT. Part of my sales are from 
you know, allies that, that want to show their support to be able to say that, you know, everyone is human and, and be accepted from that perspective. Wow, that is so cool. And yeah, seven children, that is, uh, that is amazing. Okay, so why, okay, wait, WPY, people of Puerto Rico. Um, that, that's actually an organization that we found in Puerto Rico that we donated $200 because of the hurricane that happened in Puerto Rico. We felt extremely bad. We felt, um, I can't tell you what I'm thinking, mm-hmm. but I, I, I felt like it wasn't, it wasn't being, that they needed to do more stuff for those people there. So we donated as much as we could to be able to help contribute. That is awesome. And I, I don't think enough was done. Um, so I'm glad that you did. Okay. So national... We've already talked about National PF, is it PFLAG or PFLAG? Yeah, National PFLAGS, which is one of the, the um, what we did is we went to the National Convention that they currently had in in, uh, in Portland, mm-hmm. and we we told people that whatever songs we would do there, half of them would go to PFLAGS, and then half of them would go to Cofana, because um, some of the headquarters is in Portland as well, too. Okay, and now this I love. Breast Cancer Resource Center of WYCA, um, Princeton. You have Correct. Been- so we just we just came up with a brand new bow tie, which is a pink bow tie. Mm-hmm. And the whole reason associated with this is that we felt, or, or my my view behind it is that a lot of times we we tend to stay too much into our groups, and we focus on on, on our niches. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to do it as representing the LGBT community, we're serving everyone. And I wanted to find, an, an, you know, a lot of times women would tell me and said, well, Jorge, I kind of feel like you're covering everyone, but you're not covering us. So that's where the idea came from, finding an organization that actually when you donate to them, they do apply that money to helping someone. So after researching for like around six months, I found an organization that for every $400 that we donate, we will sponsor 12 women that lost their hair to be able to have a wig. And this bow tie here, the, the pink one is the same as the black. If when you touch the ribbon, it is hand woven, so it is part of the silk. And this one, when you even wear it outside on the sun, just like the colorful ones, mm-hmm. the colors just pop out because the silk is just double the thread count. And it's just, they're just beautiful colors. So I love wearing the bow ties on a regular basis. Just, they make your outfit look great. And most of the time people think that you're wearing a tuxedo and it's not, it's just a bow tie. So, um, you know, it's, when you're passionate about what you're doing and you're contributing, it's easier to be able to wear something like that. Yeah. But, and I, yeah, three women um, received a wig, which I know I have a disease where I was taking chemo and my hair was falling out. And it's amazing how much that affects you. Um, okay, so the Pride Coloring Book, Dr. Ron Hold. So I met him at the HRC Human Rights Campaign, a national convention. Mm-hmm. And he... What he's done is he actually gives away coloring books for the LGBT for kids to be able to learn to be able to cope with differences on, on that part, part. And I, I just feel really passionate about what he was doing. That we we donated a little bit of money. I wish you could have done more for everything that he's done. But um, like I said, every dime that goes associated that we've donated, we want to make sure that becomes documented. Well, and that's beautiful. Okay, so. Total donations to nonprofits have been one thousand four hundred and ten dollars. Now, mm-hmm. talk about the six thousand five hundred bracelets. So um, that's the bracelet that would say on one side, you know, help stop bullying, and on the other one, it would say it, it has to. We put a website on there, um, so that way people will know who we are. But we're just passionate about making you know difference and letting people know that bullying is. It's, it's, it's an insecurity that is not a right thing to be able to do. If, if we just accept people for who they are, you know, life just becomes more beautiful. And, um, you know, the bracelet that it is, it has the LGBT colors on it. And, um, I, I never in my wildest dreams did I thought in one year would be giving away 6,500. It's, we're getting to the point that I've learned to just, Try not to give so many away because eventually we are a profit organization. Mm-hmm. But if it was up to me, I would be giving them on a continuous basis. But just we try to do the best that we can to be able to, you know, continue to get the word out. Yeah. Well, and you've sold two two hundred bow ties, um, and the <laughs> average donated, including nonprofit organization and bracelets per bow 
the ties that were sold was like thirteen dollars and thirty cents, basically from each bow tie. Correct. Correct. Okay. Now you've talked about the silk. Now, where are your t- your bow ties made? So the the silk is from the United Kingdom. They won't ship it to Vermont, and in Vermont, there's a beautiful factory that. Um, I didn't know that much about factories, so I truly had an opportunity to go. And um, it's been great because it's kind of like family run. There's been now, you know, two generations of people that have been working on this factory. Mm-hmm. And just the, the amount of details that they do or their work, it's nothing but a blessing to, to be part of having such a wonderful organization created by Exactly. Oh, and I want They to focus on details like it's just amazing. Well, and they're beautiful. Everybody's going to see when they go to the website and they order because they're going to order bow ties everyone um you also help stop bullying like you've helped the program help stop bullying and i i love that i just had a thing on a little while ago about bullying and um, right now there is a bullying stop bullying anti-bullying um thing it's hashtag anti-bullying happening right now and um when i read that you donated to help bullying i was like wow that is so cool um now, also, we just had our gay pride parade last weekend, and I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and it is a celebration, and it's beautiful, and it's fun, and I thought, geez, how coincidental is it that I'm having you on right after we had our gay pride parade? It couldn't have happened at a better time. Um, is there anything else that you want us to know, Jorge, about um, gay pride bow ties or anything? Well, I- one thing that I want to tell people is that when normal people, if anybody's really wearing a bow tie, the feedback is they're wearing something that has a meaning. Mm-hmm. Really feel that they're wearing something that is more than just a bow tie. And that's that's what we want to do and, and contribute back to the society for it. And since we're a small company, we, we really stay in touch with our customers. We want to know their stories. We want to know whenever they're wearing this and something you know positive ends up happening. So from that perspective, you know, if, if if somebody wants to send us a picture, they purchase a bow tie, send the pictures, it would be a great pleasure to add it into the Hall of Fame part of the website. If some people want to stay private, we totally respect that. Mm-hmm. Um, but if, you know, if they want to send that to us, it would be a great pleasure to continue to, to show what we've done. Um, the other thing that we did when we celebrated one year is we actually put a picture of everyone that gave us a picture throughout the year, and then we put it in Twitter and Instagram. So... That way they could see that we didn't forget the bravery of sending that stuff to us. And not only that, help us to be able to continue to give our message out. Well, I think it's beautiful. And I just wanted to mention to you, you're the president of Gay Pride Bowties, Jorge Santana. Um, I didn't mention that at the beginning. I just introduced you. So I just want to say I thank you so much for coming on my show. I like I'm so touched that you did and shared your story. I think it's beautiful what you're doing. You can tell how passionate you are just by listening to your talk. Um, your website's going to be up on my website, so people can click on it directly from my website and go and find out all about you, see all the bow ties, the pictures, um, read more about the stuff that you're doing. And um, I hope you're not going to be a stranger. Anything new happens, you get on Shark Tank, let me know. You can always come back on, Jorge. I loved talking to you, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for what you're doing, and thank you so much for coming on my show. Can I be able to say a couple more things? Yes, of if, course you can. So if, if someone in Canada would like to purchase a bow tie, just, uh, please send me an email. Um, and the reason why is because uh, it's it's really hard to be able to put the shipping associated with it to the international side. So normally what happens is somebody says, hey, okay, I'm interested, but I live in Canada. Um, all I ask is to send me an email, send me your address. I'll get a shipping quote for you. And then I could just send you a bill through PayPal, you pay that, and the next day I'll, I'll ship you out the, the bow tie. So um, my my email is gaypridebowties at gmail.com. They can also follow me on Twitter, which is at gaypridebowties, at, at gaypridebowties. And then also on Instagram is at gaypridebowties. Okay. And um, they can, uh, all my information is there. If they just want to call me directly, I'm pretty easy open. My phone number is 816-589-3886. Like I said, we're just, we're very open. We're just very hands-on and we definitely like to make a difference. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jorge. And like I said, don't be a stranger. Anything new happens, you let me know. 
No problem. And then um, what I'd like to do too is maybe, um, you know, at the end of the next year too, we can maybe come here and tell you the progress that we made mm-hmm. and uh, go through those numbers as well too. So. Yeah, you definitely can come back on. And everybody's going to be able to see a picture of me with a bow tie because I'm getting one. Um, so I'll be sending that to Jorge and it'll also be up on all my social media and on my website. So everybody will see how beautiful they are. And I'm excited. Like you would not believe that I'm getting one. Um, so once again, Jorge, thank you so much and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have a great day. Yes, you too. And everybody, thank you for tuning in to Allie's Awareness Avenue. Make sure you tune in next Thursday and we will be talking about something new. Everybody have a great evening.